Hello everyone, today I am walking through the differences between the rash guards that I purchased off of AliExpress versus the Under Armour uh, rash guards that I've purchased as well as the Fu Fusion FG rash guards that I have. Now, I use rash guards under my Jiu Jitsu Gi uh, specifically because of rashes. Uh, and I really enjoy having something under my gi. Now, I prefer to use the thinner rash guards, not jujitsu specific rash guards like the Fusion FG ones, like these ones, mainly because the, uh, these ones are pretty thick. Uh, they are very good quality rash guards for rolling when you're doing no gi. Um, this is my Star Trek one, um, and I have a Batman and Super one, Superman one as well. These are fantastic, thick quality uh, rash guards for nogi jujitsu, and I use these when I go when I roll in nogi. Uh, but they're a bit thick to be under the gi that I wear on a regular basis, and so I've decided to wear a thinner rash guard. Now the thinner rash guards I have are the Under Armour ones, which a lot of people use. These are great. These are great quality. They're about thirty bucks a piece which is a pretty decent uh, rash guard, 30 bucks Canadian. Now, what I found out is I was able to find out about AliExpress and they have rash guards. Now, the reason why I'm looking at AliExpress is because I like nerdy things. As you can see, I have the Star Trek one, I have a Super, uh, Superman Nogi rash guard. Um, and I know that Under Armour has quite a bit of superhero inspired rash guards, but they're about 60 bucks, uh, 50, 60 bucks a piece. And it's a bit expensive for me. Uh, plus I already have Superman. Um, you know, I, and a lot of people like to use the ones that they have. I personally prefer something a little bit off, uh, you know, not as popular. So as you can see, this is a, this is a Dragon Ball one. I also recently purchased a long sleeve Dick Grayson Nightwing rash guard as well as a Spider-Man one off of AliExpress, right? And so these are great options to wear under the gi. Now the differences, now here's the differences. The quality compared to the Under Armour is a little bit less. It's a little bit, it's a little bit rougher than the Under Armour uh, Under Armour rash guard. I feel like the stitching is a little bit weaker. Um, would I roll in this without a gi? I don't think so. I would, I would probably not want to. Um, I bought the, the, I think this was an extra large. I think it fits quite well. Um, I kind of wanted a little bit tighter, but I followed the instructions and the, the sizing chart off of the company that was selling it on AliExpress. Uh, the biggest difference with, or the biggest difficulty that you see with AliExpress, and I'll probably do a, another review on purchasing from there, is that sizing might be a little bit off. They have Asian, uh, a lot of times there's Asian sizing, which is, tends to run much smaller. Um, for example, this is an extra large. Uh, and shipping. Uh, the thing with AliExpress is that it ships from China and you know, it's, it's far away and there, there's not really the most reliable thing to ship across, across the ocean. And so it takes a while. I think this took, surprisingly enough, this took a little bit, uh, much shorter than I expected it to. It took about two to three weeks. It came in, um, and it was pretty, it was pretty cheap. I mean, this, this along with the other, the, uh, this along with shipping was 15 bucks. So $15 Canadian for a rash guard that it's a little bit less quality, a little bit weaker in terms of stitching compared to the Under Armour, but I got I get to have something super nerdy. I think is great um, in terms of delivery. It took no longer than I think some things that come through Canada Post uh, from legit stores, from stores from North America. So I think it's not that crazy. Uh, come a few things that you want to pay attention to when you're purchasing. It's really the sizing. There was a bit of a concern with sizing. A lot of people have comments on the sizing, um, you know, they bought an extra large. If you're an extra large and other things, this might not fit you. Um, I pay, I, I fit about, a, I'm a one, I weigh about 155. 
um, and I'm about 5'6". And so this extra large may not be, you know, the, the size that you're looking for. And for example, this is a tight Under Armour. It's just a bit tighter than this uh, rash guard, this compression shirt. And this runs, this is a medium in, uh, in Under Armour. I wear a medium in Under Armour. I wear a medium in F Fusion FG. And these are pretty tight. If this was probably a large, it'd be a uh, much snugger. It'd probably be around this size. So I would highly suggest taking a look at your measurements whenever you buy anything from AliExpress. Take a look at the measurement chart. There's usually one there. And do your own measurements. Measure your chest. I usually measure my chest and my shoulder to uh, hip measurement to be able to see if it, if it will fit across the chest and if, if it's long enough. But as a kind of summary, is this worth the 15 bucks? I think so. I think it was worth $15 to roll around with. I think it'll last quite a bit, uh, bit of time. I don't think it'll last forever. I don't think it, it will last as long as my Fusion FG stuff. It may, la it may last a little bit shorter than my Under Armour uh, compression shirts and rash guards, but it won't, but I mean, that's a couple of years, I still think, depending on how much I use it. Um, if I wanted multiple options if you want multiple options to wear under your gi if you want to have you know if you don't do laundry as often 15 bucks for this compared to an under armor one which is you know this uh, this option is about 30 bucks 25 to 30 dollars so two of these including shipping one of these again good quality the uh, under armor is a great quality uh, rash guard compression shirts um, i wanted something a bit dorky so here's my uh, here's my Goku version. I got a couple more coming in from a different store on AliExpress. I got a Spider-Man one. I got a Nightwing one. Uh, these are just fun things to have under your gi. And I think as a, as a store and as a product, I think it's worth t taking a look at. I wouldn't, again, I wouldn't roll no gi without, uh, with these. I think these would rip pretty quickly. But in terms of having an under a gi where if someone's just grabbing the gi and this is stuff under to keep you, know, keep you protected with sweat and all that jazz, uh, I think this is a great option. And yeah, uh, the other part about it is, you know, it's a bit of a risk. Buying from AliExpress, it may not show up. I was willing to spend the 15 bucks for this stuff to see how it works and whether or not um, it will ever show up. I, I've heard some horror stories I've had a decent experience. This came pretty quickly. I bought a few items. I'm having another order from a different store from AliExpress coming in. It might be pretty good as well. I don't know. It'll see some, some of these order times are like I bought in, I bought two weeks ago in the beginning of March and may come in May. So that's the other part about it. If you want something right away, you got to go to the store. You'll go buy, go to the local uh, sports check or Under Armour store and pick up a, a rash guard uh, or compression shirt and it'll be there for you immediately. Uh, if you're ordering online, it may be quicker, maybe two or three weeks, uh, depending on the situation, or even a couple of days if you buy from within Canada or the US. This is coming from China. It may ship slower because they ship all together uh, with different items. I just, this is already washed. I washed this and it's, it held up pretty well in the wash. So again, I think that if you're looking for a cheap option, uh, you, these rash guards aren't that bad. Uh, the other thing you might notice is that, you know, it's a $4. So technically this is $4 or $5 on the store, but the shipping is 10, right? So it's not necessarily $4. I think it was 10 bucks. It was, I think it's $15 or probably 12 or 13 bucks plus shipping. Um, the other part of it is I bought three from the same store and they wouldn't combine shipping. So like, it's just, it's still 15 bucks, despite the fact that I bought three of them each of them was four or five bucks. Each of them had their own $10 shipping. So it was just something that you kind of factored in. Okay, it's not really $4. It's, it's probably, you know, closer to 15 plus shipping, uh, you know, uh, or probably $12 per item. And the other $3 went to shipping for each one. So, you know, it's kind of a, it's kind of a misdirection and kind of misadvertisement as a $4 shirt. This is not necessarily $4. I think it was more closer to 12, 13 bucks. Again, for a compression shirt that I can wear under my gi, for something super nerdy that I can, I can play around with, 12, 13 bucks is not a bad thing, all right? And I think that uh, it's a great option. So 
if you bought from AliExpress, comment below. Let me know what you think, uh, what, what, what your experience was. I think it's a decent option. Um, I can comment, I can explain to you a little bit more if you, uh, if you reach out about the sizing, how that worked. And uh, if you want a specific store that I bought these from, I'll let you know. And I'll, I'll probably do another video about the other shirts that I bought from, from a different store within AliExpress. Now, the other thing is AliExpress, multiple stores within one platform. So, you know, sizing might be different. You might be from, buy from one store that might have one way of sizing and another store might have a different way, way of sizing. So just pay attention to that. Um, but yeah, that's my kind of overview about buying rash guards, compression shirts from AliExpress, comparing them to the Under Armour, which again, great quality, and the Fusion FG stuff, which is fantastic quality. This is the stuff that I would roll in, uh, in no gi. This is the stuff I would roll under my gi. All right, have a good one.